Hey guys, um, during this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about life off of modafinil as I haven't been using it for the past several days. And I wanna talk about a, a little bit about Ritalin because I came across an article which was entail, entailed as modafinil versus Ritalin. And come to think about it, they are somewhat similar just in the fact that they can help you with focus and they do have similar properties in that with modafinil and with, with Ritalin, You'll feel, you'll, you'll feel like you're in a better mood. It's easier to focus. And um, they're also very, very strong appetite suppressants. Most people don't realize, but they're just not eating enough. They're typically eating less calories than they would have if they're not on modafinil. And that's been my experience. But anything which is a stimulant, almost like the stronger a stimulant, the, um, the more likely it is that it'll suppress your appetite. Like the more stimulated you are, the less it's suppressed, which is bad. I mean, if you think about Adderall, most people don't even eat when they're on it and they can just focus right through. So I'm um, talking about modafinil, if you're unfamiliar with it, what it's used for is to help us feel more motivated, uh, boost motivation, um, especially useful when it comes to like lazy people. And, and then it helps you to feel awake and feel alert. So it stimulates part of the brain that's associated with like wakefulness. And it's very powerful that way because it's gonna deliver, it's gonna just um, demolish any side effects that you may feel from being somewhat sleep deprived, like yawning, just feeling like physically fatigued. So what what's interesting about modafinil versus Ritalin is that Ritalin is very short lasting. If you look at the graphs and you can find this on Wikipedia, you can see how Ritalin looks. Even, you know, short term long, um, in terms of like short term or extended release, it's just interesting that it peaks up and then it just goes down very quickly. That's something I don't like about Ritalin. I would almost compare it to like something like Nupept even because it's a very acute effect. And then after it's gone, but what's great about Ritalin, there's no crash, right? Now, that's what I like about Ritalin. In terms of the focus, it's better. However, it is such a strong stimulant, I would even say it's stronger than modafinil. So that's the reason why, given a choice, I would much rather be on modafinil. Let's not, let's not forget, like, Ritalin is prescribed for people that have ADHD, whereas modafinil is prescribed for people with um, a lot of, a, just a, a very different circumstance. But being off of modafinil right now, what I'm noticing is it's very easy to just look at, like, the bigger picture of my life. So they say, like, you could be chopping a tree or you can be looking at the whole forest if you're somebody that is that um, is currently in like a phase of your life where you're just working like in the business itself not necessarily on the business then modafinil could be very useful if you're somebody like just on the phone you're making like the same call or you're calling prospects modafinil is very very powerful however if you're somebody that really has to like overlook a lot of tasks you have very complex problems to solve I would not recommend that you take modafinil unless, I mean, you're sleep deprived, you're not feeling your, or you're not feeling like your best self. But if you're like, I mean, if you're in a good state, so you, you're, you're well rested, you're well hydrated, right? You're eating the right things, you're getting the right nutrition in, the right supplements, that state is gonna be better you know, you're gonna be better there and you don't need the modafinil, you'll be able to function a lot better. So that's what I'm noticing off being off modafinil. Um, I'm liking the experience. However, I am requiring more sleep, which um, is, is going to come with it, but let's see how it goes. I'm gonna strategically just try modafinil here and there during, um, just during the week, maybe two or three times throughout the week just to see how I respond to it. And, um, it's very, very powerful when it comes to when it comes to improving your mood. I mean, when I was taking Ritalin itself, I couldn't understand. Like, it took me about two months to notice that it was really just that. It was the it was the Ritalin which was really the one difference that helped me improve my mood so much. Because again, when you're in a better mood, you're going to be more likely to like engage in social interactions. You're going to be more optimistic about your work. You're going to be just more naturally driven. You have a more, you have um, something to look forward to when you wake up in the morning. And um, if you can get that from a supplement, purchase as many of those supplements as you can. So when it comes to modafinil, um, I initially rated it very highly, like eight out of 10. Now it's more closer to like a seven, just because it is so addicting that people may not realize, if you're, if you're somebody that is new to stimulants or new to supplements or nootropics, you may not really um, be observant enough to notice how addicting it is and that you could just take the stuff 
for three months straight and not notice there's anything really wrong with it. But if you take it consistently, you're gonna stop, you're gonna convince yourself that you don't need to sleep as much. You may lose some of your good habits like working out because um, a lot of people when they don't exercise, they feel like sluggish. I will note that with modafinil, you really don't feel that feeling. You still feel driven. So it's a very fascinating drug. And what comes with it though is the crash. It seems like there is this, there's this um, correlation. It almost seems like, like the more severe a drug is, the more severe the side effects are. With the modafinil crash, eight to nine hours after ingestion, you just come down, you lose a lot of productivity. Those last few hours in the day, if you're somebody that's working like 12, um, 10, 12 hour days, modafinil may not be the best drug to take unless you like dose it in the morning, like dose it in the afternoon. And um, if you're doing something like that, our modafinil for my experience was actually better. If you're looking to just have a more completely productive day, when you look at like, um, you know, gross productivity, our modafinil would definitely be better. That's, I mean, if you're somebody again, working like, you know, 80 hour, 100 hour work weeks, maybe if you're a student, you're just going through exam time, then check out our modafinil. Um, in any case, guys, I recommend you check out both of them. If you're somebody that has focus issues, I'm not a doctor, but I would say that there was a, there was a stage when I was noticing, I was reading and very often like regressing back to the para, uh, back to the beginning of the paragraph, just going back and my mind really wasn't there which was the time I had gotten a prescription of Ritalin and it was very, very effective. My grades jumped up, I felt better. Um, although again, it really just something to pay attention to make sure you're getting the adequate nutrition because both of them, they will really uh, suppress your appetite. Hope you guys found that helpful and if there's anything you'd like me to review in a future video, comment below. I read all the comments and I really appreciate your, su your support by subscribing and sharing this channel with people you know and I look forward to seeing you all next time.